Pizzy Peeps, and welcome back to another episode. I've started from the bottom, the road to glory. Right, today we'll be looking at doing the marquee matchups, and then we will be looking at the brand new content that they dropped on Friday. Not bad at all. Right, so how we work it with, my, with marquee matchups is if we've got the we have a quick look straight away to see what players are required in marquee matchups. If we have the players in our club, we end up doing them. If we haven't, we don't do we don't go and buy the players initially. There is always a complete mad rush for getting the players straight away. Uh, and then it goes on to a dip where obviously everybody's trying to price cut and undercut each other for prices. And then as the people then are starting to purchase the complete marquee matchups, it starts to rise during the week, like for the cost of players. And then towards the tail end of the marquee matchups week, the players then start to dip in price because people just want their coins. So with this one, we held off for the first few hours because we didn't have all of the players. Um, and some of them were going for like stupid money. So we held off. We managed to pack some of the players that we actually required along the way after waiting the initial day. And then the ones that we did need, we got for some great coins. So this week's marquee matchups didn't end up costing us a lot at all, which isn't bad, which isn't bad at all. Now, obviously, this week they released the marquee matchups on a Thursday. Usually, marquee matchups is on a Tuesday. I hope that's not. I hope that's not going to be. The, the case every single week. I just think they might have done that just for the pre-release because if they would have released it on Tuesday that's a little bit too early in the pre-release schedule for marquee matchups to be out. That would have given people a completely huge advantage on the Friday. I think they knew what was coming out on the Friday so they didn't want to release anything else on the Friday so they just released the marquee matchups on the Thursday. Now, unless they're thinking of changing when um, weekend league rewards are dished out, because if that's going to be on a Thursday, and then technically, depending on where you are in the world, the division rivals rewards are technically on a Thursday uh, for, for some countries. And then if they put marquee matchups on a Thursday, that's a hell of a lot of content on a Thursday with not necessarily nothing Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, you've got team of the week, which you can argue is content. Uh, and then Friday they'll do promos and stuff, which obviously is content. So I think they, re I, th I don't think they're going to keep marquee matchups on a Thursday unless they're going to move the rewards from the weekend league to Monday, Tuesday, something like that. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I just think they did it this week just to just so that a lot of people didn't have an advantage of having a good two or three days above people to see what the marquee matchups is, and then kind of invest and try and manipulate the market. That's that's what I think the reasoning. However, this week, GG to EA for numerous things, my friends. Marquee matchups predictions for the first week. Everybody who does these marquee matchup predictions weren't really right. They wasn't right again. So everybody, if you are, if you do watch people that do these marquee matchup predictions, just to be careful, if you notice their videos and their trading methods and their guides, they give you like 15 games. There's only four games on marquee matchups. They give you 15 games to cover, and then, you know, then they come out with, oh, we won two out of the four. We got two out of the four, guys. Well done, you. Well done, you, for guessing two out of 15. <laughs> well, well done. Right, so that is marquee matchups complete. So just be careful with the predictions. GG to EA for no leaks on the marquee matchups and then I'll talk about the other GG after we show you some things that are sold. So we sold the David Luiz, we sold Wijnaldum, we was lucky to get out of that. He, he went up, went down, went up, went down, we managed to get out. Unfortunately, wasn't as lucky with Alessandrini, obviously the one we've got in the club we paid well over 3,000 coins for. This one has now dropped to 2-3. Um, Obviously, this is a couple of days behind on the market from when you're actually watching this video. Uh, don't worry, it'll all catch up with itself. I'm just trying to get to grips with the game initially, so just giving myself a little bit of time to try and, try and grind out some games. So that's why we're 
we are in the schedule and we've got five packs from this week's marquee matchup silver players pack silvers will be very very important this year i feel some gold packs that used to have silvers in now don't contain silver cards so we'll just check to see what a few are going for and stuff like that obviously there is an SBC for silvers currently out if you haven't done it but I think there's going to be more like that where silvers will be required so if you're not going to get a hell of a lot of money for the silvers that you've got don't bother trying to sell something like that for like 5, 550, 600 coins. You might as well just try and keep on to it. Yes, it's a road to glory. Yes, we do need coins. However, there's so many more opportunities to get coins from other areas. Don't sell yourself short on a few silvers for 500, 600 coins when you never know. They might be worth two, three, four, five because less silvers are going to be packed this year. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. There hopefully will be some SBCs that require silvers and then we will be in the money. It's not a silver pack method because we're not going to be opening packs that do give silvers. We're just going to try and keep packs that have silvers. Yeah, so we're not going to do like the bronze pack method and, and purposely go out and trying to force purchasing of silvers. However, if we do see a good silver give or take for like two, three hundred coins, we might just pick them up here and there randomly, like the odd random player or something like that. Right then, so we've got a mixed players pack, another one with silvers in. So you know that this is either going to be worth a lot of money for the silvers or we're going to end up keeping them, which is pretty good. We do get another Fellaini, so he's a duplicate. Um, we're going to try and just keep hold of things like this because obviously we need to make sure that we know the schedule first. We don't know the schedule. Marquee matchups might literally be coming out Tuesday and that only is giving like a four day period but I, as I'm saying that I haven't checked what the time remaining was on the marquee matchups so that would be interesting actually I should have actually checked that I didn't check that as I'm recording this video and now I can't really go and check it Let, can you check it on thingy give me one sec do uh, footbeing have when, when it expires let's have a look uh, market yeah okay so it, it is actually a week right so it, it has actually got five days remaining so that's interesting so that means that next week's marquee matchups judging by that will be on the thursday unless they do a double bubble for one week and release the next one on the tuesday while that one is still running that'll be interesting so we don't know that yet we will find out next week so you never know you might need more cards on the tuesday if you want to do the marquee matchups so we're going to be very mindful of that so we're still learning the schedule we are still learning what to do we're still learning whether a comes out on monday b comes out on tuesday c comes out on wednesday we're still trying to get to grips with that so we'll just see what it is next week and then we can get into the fold and try and guess when things are coming and stuff like that It'd be interesting to see what they do in marquee matchups. Right, another pack then from this week's marquee matchups. Overall, not bad. We get a board. Goalkeeper, Everton. It's going to be Pickford, 83 rated. That's not bad at all. That basically means that this marquee matchups with the other few bits here and there is profit. Profit all day long, my friends. We haven't packed a big one, but that's not too bad. Now, we're going to keep on to all of these cards. For a few reasons, A, SBCs, we never, we don't know what's going to be happening and luckily we did this before the Friday and they dropped all of those Friday SBCs, so that was a clever move. Uh, what do we get in this one? Premium goal, we get another board, French, CM, PSG, Rabio. now Rabio does go for a fair bit, we will check his price, so we will end up selling him. But anything that's only going for like two ish thousand coins 1500 coins here and there we're going to end up keeping because we didn't know how many spcs are going to drop and then like i said luckily this was done before the friday and then friday they released all of those spcs so that was pretty clever gg me and these are the spcs that, re that they released lucas mora player of the month card now we are not going to do this mora card for a few reasons one we're not rocking a Premier League team at the moment. That's the main reason. Two, 
It's an untradeable card at this stage. I don't want to pump any excess cards or excess coins while my team isn't set. So that would mean if I did spend, what, 40k, 45k or whatever it was at the time on the Mora, we'd then have to try and sell all my Serie A. And I've bought some good players. I will show you in the next one. I've bought some good players. So we'd have to sell those. The market dipped on them slightly when this come out. So that means I would have lost coins on those. But those players since have recovered. Also, it's worth it if you're rocking a Premier League team. But then see if that costs you 45,000 coins, right? See what you can buy for 45,000 coins. Now, I'm not too sure on the price of Martial. And I know it's the other side. But would you say that this Lucas card is better, much better than Martial? Would you say that this Lucas card is much better than Rashford? Let's just check on the price. Or um, I know they're different sides. I know they are different sides. But let's just check on the price for... Where are we? You carry on watching the screen. We're going to do some of the kickoff SBCs that require bronzes, silvers and golds. Well, I just check to see. Yeah, so Lucas at the time of me recording this is coming in at 54, give or take. And Martial and William, same side, is 29,000 coins. 29,000 coins, give or take, for William for a tradable card. 45 to 50k for Mora, untradable. Son, 66k. So that's within the same kind of, you know, price bracket range. Um, Martial, 43. Obviously the other side. Uh, but I th I actually, do you know what? Forget Martial. Forget, forget Lingard. They're both cheaper. Let's compare directly to Willian. Is Willian a better card in-game? Not necessarily face that. In-game than what Mora is. Willian's card have always seemed to be a bit more overpowered than what the actual card suggests. I haven't played with the Mora. I'm just saying, I'm just being a devil's advocate. I'm throwing it out there. But for us anyway, because we're not rocking a Premier League team, that's the reason we didn't do it. We'd rather keep the players to be able to do other SBCs. We'd rather keep the players we've got in our club rather than either lose coins or not make any off them. And I'm quite happy with this Serie A. The only way this Serie A is failing a little bit is there's no premio strikers. However, however, that may all change. We may start doing a hybrid. Who knows? We've go got that new kit and that kit, that uh, pack as well from doing the kickoff SBC. Not bad. Extremely cheap for us. If you wanted to see how we did it, hit the pause button. The Xbox kit's going to go straight in. We've also got the UEFA competition where you get a five-game loan Aubameyang and a two-player Champions League pack. And this is the team we've used for that. Obviously, the two-player packs are untradeable. But you can see we're using Premier League players because we haven't got that many players. And imagine if we'd lose, we would have used those in the Lucas Mora. Just remember that. 700 coins so far. 1,100 coins so far, give or take. 1,100... Yeah, okay. So, 1,100 coins this ended up costing us, right? Now, imagine if we'd got rid of most of those players in the Lucas Mora SBC. We would have had to purchase those players to complete this. It would have ended up costing us a lot more than 1,000 coins. Yes, we know what we are getting guaranteed in the five-game loan Obama Yang, but it's only a loan and it's only five games. What is unknown is the two players we're going to get in the pack. We could get the best players, then it's totally worth it, and then we could get completely trash players, and then it's not worth it, and they are untradeable. So we have to be careful. We are a road to glory. If you've got FIFA points, do the Mora Man. It's, it's a great value for coins, relatively, but then... It's all relative. It's all relative, man. You know, Willian, Martial. You know what I'm saying, right? More silvers. 1,200 coins. Let me know, actually, if he did do the more. Let me know if he is amazing. I'm sure he's a very good card. I'm sure he's fantastic. Will he be in your team in four weeks' time? That's the question you have to ask yourself. 
If he will be in your team in four weeks time, GG you, you've got a bargain. If he won't be in your team in four weeks time, that means all of a sudden he becomes a super sub because he's untradeable and you can't do anything with him. And then if he's going to become a super sub, would you spend 45k on a super sub right now? But I'm saying. Right then, that pack. Do we get anything decent in that? We don't get anything major. Major, we get... Tadic. More golds though for more SBCs. We get an Envia uh, duplicate which we'll send to the trade pile. We'll check the prices of those afterwards. If there's anything exciting, we will end up listing him. We've got an Electrum Players pack and then obviously the other two packs. So Electrum Players pack. I quite like these packs. We get an 86 or an Inform. Is it an Inform? It is an Inform. It's an Inform. It is check. It is check. Now, that's good and bad. Check isn't worth a lot of money at the moment. He's still got his hat on. I don't know if you've seen that career mode photo where we were sitting in the negotiation and he had that hat on. Absolutely superb, right? Now, he isn't going for a lot at the moment because obviously loads of people are opening packs. But long term, an 84 rated Premier League inform, that's got to be worth some coinage. Has to be. Has to be worth some coinage for an SBC. But I love what EA are doing with SBCs absolutely fantastic and then the other that's the gg with the leaks in terms of no leaks for marking matchups and the other gg is absolutely no leaks of stuff that was coming up like this fantastic absolutely superb right then well done ea another pack who we get who we get we just had check oh we get another board beautiful kovacic nice now kovacic we sold the last one we got for about nine six he will have obviously have gone down since then because of loads of people opening packs. But we will probably end up... Oh, we get Zaha. Oh, wow. What? What a pack. Okay. Now, Zaha was, what, 20k like two days ago? I think he's like, flying around about 10 now. So what we'll do is we'll end up keeping him, saving him slightly, and then see if he goes up just before the weekend league. If he doesn't... We've got a, a sub or another player there in case we want to transition to a Premier League team. I don't know, man, but I'm happy with that. I'm not going to rush selling any players at the moment. This is buy time, not sell time. Right then, let's finish off the episode with the champions. Remember, this cost us 1,100. Can we get something good? Can we get something good? There's about a million players available. Can we get some good ones? Who? Who? Right then. Imagine if we had done the Lucas Mora, which gives us an untradeable 50k card. We then want to do this because we might pack Pogbat. We end up spending six, seven, eight thousand coins on this, and we get that. This way, we've saved our coins from Mora. And a thousand coins on these two, I'm, I'm not I'm not too fussed about. Not too fussed about. Right, that is it for today's episode. Tomorrow, we will be looking at the brand new players that we've got into the team. I'm currently playing with them as I'm recording this because I've got a battle squad. I've got a battle. Battle? Yeah, battle. Do you know what? I have got a battle the game. I've got a battle squad battles and I've got to do division rivals as well. So that's currently happening. So tomorrow we'll look at the teams and then we'll start doing some gameplay and stuff like that. I think I've set you up quite nicely. You will see we have done some insane business. Insane business. I am very happy with how much my transfer profit is. I'm very happy with the team, give or take. Not so happy with the second team. We are good. If you're following what we're doing, then you should be good as well. This has been a great start to a FIFA, apart from the win-loss record. We don't need to talk about that. Anyway, that is it for today's video. If you have stumbled across the channel, why don't you hit that subscribe button? Of course, if you already subscribed, turn your notice on. Be part of the notice squad. Yeah? Hit that thumbs up button. I'd love to see more thumbs up on a video. It just means the world. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in a bit.